In a recent episode of Bad Audio Diary, I featured a paid Facebook promotion by the UK government with terrible audio. Here it is again. Now that is bad, and I corrected the extremely low level of the audio so you could hear it at all. Before I continue, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. So what's bad about this audio? Firstly, the very low level, but I've corrected that because otherwise you'd hardly be able to hear it at all. Then there's a rather dull frequency balance, there's a lot of noise, there are significant data compression artifacts, and the speech is mostly out of phase. You might have to listen a little harder to hear that, because it's obscured to a certain extent by the other problems, as I found myself. It's hard to work out the chain of events that led to this monstrosity, but I got to thinking. What if the original file was dual mono, but out of phase? Strictly speaking, I should say, with one channel inverted. But out of phase is a common expression, so I'll continue to use that to avoid tying myself up in linguistic knots. I always say that trying things out is better than just wondering about a lot of things in life. So here's a poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. It's me, obviously, recording through an AEA A440 active ribbon microphone. If you wanted to buy one, it would cost you something around 6,000 US dollars. And I'm recording in Abbey Road Studio too. If you wanted to book that for a day, it would cost you somewhere in the region of 1,500 UK pounds, plus tax. So that's the quality of the recorded material. If there's a weak link, then it's me. What I'm gonna do now is put it through an MP3 encoder with a very low data rate, 32 kilobits per second. Here are the settings. And this is what it sounds like. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. It's obviously degraded in quality from the original, but it is still usable and the problems are not too distracting. But now, I'll invert one channel of the original. Without data compression, it sounds like this. It's clean, but out of phase. And now, through the MP3 encoder. Interesting. The compression artifacts are very much more noticeable. So what's the reason for this? The answer is that the encoding method uses joint stereo. What this does is recognize where there are mono components in the original file and encode them as mono. Stereo components are encoded as separate channels. This economizes on the data rate and the overall audio quality can be better. If the original is out of phase, then there is no mono information to encode. It all has to be encoded as two channels. Inevitably, for a given data rate, the audio quality is pushed down and the level and quantity of compression artifacts is pushed up. Is there a moral to this? Yes, there is use an adequate data rate of 256 kilobits per second or higher. And don't use MP3, it's the past. The more modern AAC method is very much better. Let's hear the original WAV file again, followed by the out-of-phase MP3. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, there are more Audio Masterclass videos to enjoy. I'm David Meller, 
course director of Audio Masterclass. Why don't you visit us at audiomasterclass.com and take a look at our range of online music production and sound engineering courses. Thank you for listening.